Welcome, in front of me is a POCO X7 Pro and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this phone. So to get started, swipe down from the top of the screen. Now let me quickly check if there's a difference and there is a difference from which side so make sure you do it from the right side which brings down your toggles and next you want to find the screen recording toggle. Now, it should be somewhere here, but if we don't see it, we will need to add it ourselves. So let's click on the edit button. And let's see, there we go. It's right over here for me. So just press on the plus next to your screen recorder, click on the check mark, and now we have it added. Next, we're just going to tap on it, allow, and gives us the controls for our screen recording. So we have folder, which takes us to the screen recordings, settings, close, and obviously the record, which I just enabled. Now, whatever you'll open will be recorded, minus garbage applications, for instance, like this one. Um, this one uses uh, protection without your permission to block the screen recorders or also screenshots. Uh, if you want to record uh, things like TV shows or just have something that isn't intrusive as hell on your device, I highly recommend checking out CloudStream on GitHub. It's a much better alternative than supporting trash like this. Now, right here, you can see there's already some content visible. I'm going to close this and later on, we're going to watch this on a screen recording. And just to kind of show some other things that would work. Maybe not this one, let's just maybe browser. So this one will be for just showing that everything works. Anyway, let's stop the recording now. So we're going to click on the square. You can see it saves it so we can now watch our screen recorder or recordings in the gallery application or in the photos application it's up to you which one you prefer using actually not what i wanted to do i actually wanted to give it full permission so let's go in here and there we go so there's only one thing uh, located on my device which is the screen recording uh, by default it looks like it's going to be under the photos tab but later on if you have a bunch of other media like photos uh, videos downloaded images gifs and so on it might be much simpler to find your screen recordings by going into the albums and finding an album called screenshots and screen recordings click on that and just make sure you select the correct tab screen recordings and here is my recording select that low Not whatever there we go. <clears throat> so it's already playing as you can see and uh, here is going to be the Netflix which like I mentioned uses uh, some something to block your screen recorder without your permission. I am not logged into Netflix nor do I actually have an account nor have I installed this application on the device. Therefore I find it absolutely intrusive that an application can do this if I never took any steps to actually allow this nor have I agreed to anything like this it's my phone I feel like I should be able to record whatever application I want no matter what the circumstances uh, now I want to also point out that this kind of uh, blocking of screen recorder uh, could be good and it's being used for instance by bank applications to protect the privacy and security of the user if you would have some kind of malware on your phone, uh, it could use uh, the feature of screen recording to see what kind of pins you're putting in and so on. So such a thing would obviously prevent that from happening and from that malware to be able to see what you're typing in. So in those cases, it is beneficial to you. Let's be honest, it's like saying protecting you. So that goes straight out the window. But uh, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.